Hey people, my fellow Path of Exile enjoyers. I'm here today to bring you a few builds that you might want to check out as your league starters for the upcoming Path of Exile 3.21 Crucible League. Now, why should you trust me when I tell you about these builds? Well, I have a perfectly normal amount of hours accumulated from Menmorph League several years ago. <coughs> well, it actually wasn't that long ago. Well, it actually was. I'm not sure when it was released. So Bruh. since then, I've accumulated a decent amount of hours. So uh, I know the mechanics and a lot of the ins and outs of this game. I've also played several builds enough that I can count them on my two hands. Well, no, actually, if I had four hands, I'd count them on my four hands because I played that many builds. I've been there through all types of metas, different ins and outs of skills. I'm here to tell you what I think will be a decent build for people who have either zero experience in the game or a couple hundred hours under their belts. Now I'll be discussing about six builds and I'll be classifying under three different categories. It would be bossing builds, mapping builds, and jack of all trades. I'll go into that a little later into the video. But let's talk about what makes a build a good leak starter. A good leak starter can function on gear that you can easily acquire. So basically just picking up rares off the ground and identifying them or easily crafting them with essences or any other type of early game crafting method. Your gear does not hinge off of certain uniques, certain expensive or extremely rare uniques to function properly. If your build hinges on that, then your league starter isn't going to be very good. You're not going to be performing very well. You can't push content. It's not going to be a good time. Next, you're able to effectively scale into maps and beyond, meaning you have a nice and smooth progression with gear, skills, everything like that all the way throughout all the different map tiers and into the pinnacle bosses. And finally, depending on what type of build you choose, it must be able to carry that specific function out. If it was designed for mapping, it should map out really fast. If it was done for bossing, you can blast those bosses really fast. And if it was the jack of all trades, be able to get all your void stones within the first one to three days of the league. Now, let's talk about the different categories of the builds. We have bossing builds. That's great single target. Well, that's all it's got going for it because it's squishy, got slow map clear, and you won't be living very long. However, you'll delete bosses in like a second, so that's pretty good, I guess. Followed up by mapping builds. Great speed. Single target is on the iffy side, right? So not maybe farming your, your uber elders, uber shapers, your uber bosses in general. So you really won't be doing that. You'll just be blowing through maps like they're nothing. And finally, jack of all trades. This means it's pretty good at you know, clearing, and it's got good enough single target damage to kill most pinnacle bosses and maybe even some of the uber versions of them. Now, they're not specialized in either, so for really min-max farming strategies, it won't work the best. Well, without like a sane investment anyways. Now let's talk about the builds. For mapping builds, I would recommend probably two builds. Number one would be a Corrupting Fever Champion or Corrupting Fever Gladiator, depending and Poisonous Concussion Pathfinder. Corrupting Fever Champion is an extremely fast mapper that utilizes Kinect Blast to apply stacks of Corrupting Fever onto enemies. And those enemies that do die to Corrupting Fever have a percentage chance to explode because of the gloves that you have equipped for most of these champion builds, which is the Emo. This is extremely fast at clearing legions and just high mob density league mechanics. So if you're gonna plan on doing legion you're planning on breach if you're planning on abyss all those are extremely great mechanics that pair well with this build and yeah if you're doing the gladiator ascendancy it's gonna be like faster clear but a lot less survivability next is one that i haven't played myself but have seen been very popular throughout the leagues which is poisonous concoction pathfinder it's tanky speedy and easier gear and it doesn't dish out the most damage but utilizing plague bearer it makes it into an excellent mapper Things around you will just die naturally. And it's able to take down most of the dangerous essence monsters, which is what I would recommend you farm using this build. Now, with that out of the way, let's talk about some bossing builds. First one I would recommend is Ice Nova slash Ice Sphere Totems. These are super deadly in boss fights due to the nature of Ice Sphere and its ability to just delete bosses, right? We saw in the past we had Ice Spear Occultus, Ice Spear Saboteur, rest in peace to Saboteur Ascendancy. I'm sorry what they did to you, but it is what it is. And now we have the Ice Spear Totem. Extremely popular boss killer. And then you're able to also swap into Ice Nova for mapping setup. And it'll kill her decently. It'll be alright. So yeah, aside from that, you have zero defensive layers. So if you haven't been sneezed on by a passing enemy, you will most likely die. That's just the nature of things. And next, we have General's Cry Berserker. So you're going to be running around the map, blowing up mobs, and shouting angrily all at the same time. And then after acquiring a few of the key pieces of gear, 
in the build, such as the Paradoxical Vol Rapier, it's able to slice through most pinnacle bosses, and most uber versions too, like Hot Butter. Pretty tanky, but vulnerable to those one-shots and damage over time. Finally, we come to the Jack of All Trades section, and the number one thing that I would recommend, and I would be probably playing myself, is Bone Shatter Slayer. Now, if you're not into the melee playstyle, then this probably isn't the build for you, but if you haven't tried it before, definitely to give it a shot. Nothing bad there, it's guaranteed to bring you into those high tier maps and even finishing off your four void zone. It's actually a really decent mapper. It's a little slow at bossing, but it has so much leech and recovery from the Slayer Ascendancy and the Slayer nodes on a tree that you'll outlive most bosses. Oh yeah, and the new leech mastery, recover 10% of the leech instantly, makes it even stronger. Think of it as death by a thousand cuts. This build is one of the smoothest scalers there is, and the only issue it has is that it has a you know fairly low DPS ceiling, which means you're not going to be farming uber pinnacle bosses without insane investment. I'm currently planning on following a video by Karn, and it gives an excellent full guy through the build. So, you know, check out his video if you want a smooth and successful league start. And finally, the build that everybody's going to be playing because, you know, it's the most popular, super strong, and it's got a new ascendancy that makes it even better, which is Toxic Rain Pathfinder. So this build is definitely going to be a hit or miss for a lot of people due to the playstyle of it. Long story short, Toxic Rain is essentially a damage over time skill that requires a lot of clicking to maximize the amount of pods you place, right? You shoot arrows in the air, lands, spreads up pods, etc, whatever. And yeah, that's going to be your damage. So you won't be blowing up packs of mobs while running through the map, more like spamming Toxic Rain and then watching the health barn sort of just drain down of the mob and then they die ultimately. So it lacks a lot of satisfaction. But, you know, it is what it is, and it's able to basically blow through any content the game throws at you, all on a very, very tight budget. So, perfect for the league starts and people wanting to get their Void Stone as soon as possible. If you can overlook the spamming playstyle, then give this build a shot. But, personally, I can't stand it, and I'll probably be going with the Bone Shatter I mentioned earlier. Finally, before you choose any of the builds I've mentioned, or any builds that you might find elsewhere on the platform, I would have to ask you to carefully consider these points. Does it fit your playstyle? All right. Are you ranged for range builds, bow builds, spell casting, stuff like that? Are you a melee enjoyer? Like the 10% of the people that are playing this game, right? You like placing mines, you like totems. Make sure you figure that out before anything, because I know playing a build that doesn't feel right to you through the leak start is a very painful process and you don't want to go through that. Now, does the skill look cool to you? If it looks good to you, then yeah, definitely go for it. Because if a skill looks very cool, then you'll be able to play it to its full extent down the road. And finally, above all else, do you see yourself having fun with the build? If you're picking it just because it's meta, just because you think that it's going to be able to get you those void stones very easily on a tight budget, but then you end up thinking, wow, I really hate this skill. Yeah, you're going to ruin your own league start. Anyways, that's the six builds I would recommend you, ranging from map focused, bossing focused, or jack of all trades. And definitely check out other builds by a lot more popular YouTubers, such as Arn, Zizrin, and several others that uh, I can't name off the top of my head right now, but are all very good resources for you. Take a build that might treat you well and just have fun with it. I myself, as I mentioned before, will be playing Bone Shatter and maybe Lightning Arrow Deadeye, depending on how dangerous I feel. Bone Stars are supposed to be very good this league, but not sure how much I trust that. So might just stick with Bone Shatter, and then one, two, maybe in three days, and then move on to my second build. Hopefully you enjoyed this video on six different builds. All the credits to the videos will be in the description below. If you like this video, give a like, drop a comment, maybe even subscribe if you're feeling generous. All right, I'll be streaming my league start tomorrow at, well, it's gonna be 1 p.m. my town. I'm a mountain time. Calculate it yourself. MST, 1 p.m. MST. Catch me on my Twitch at uh, Spooky. I'll put it on the screen here for you. Be there or be square. I'm a 10% million drawer and so should you. Alright, see you later. Bye.